welcome to Healthier Home Live. Uh, I, as we're going to call it today, welcome to Cleaning with Ken. How are you doing today, Ken? I recognize that inflection. It, it, I see Jen, but I'm thinking Linda. Can you we're help me out? Linda Richmond today, a uh, shout out, and there's probably copyright, so we won't say any more about her, but what a character. <laughs> Except that it was awfully fun to watch. It was a good it was For a good sure. Character. And you know what? I think she'd enjoy talking about our topic today, which is going to be what, Ken? <laughs> well, it's that time of the year, you know, vacations, but we're actually talking post-vacation cleanup. Post -vacation. post vacation cleanup. It's the saddest part of the vacation when you're coming home. You're you're more exhausted than you were when you left. You really don't want to do any work at all. So you're telling me that we still have work to do when we get home from vacation. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we do, and some of this is actually kind of necessary. I mean, you know, it depends on the. Well, actually, it is necessary. Yes, there's a variety of reasons. Both of all these right. things we're going to talk about are necessary. So I I, I purposely put these pictures here because. Everybody thinks like your neck of the woods when they say vacation, which it's is kind of like sand. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. I'm just throwing that out there. Everybody thinks about where you live in this part. Everybody thinks that's vacation land. You, you probably want to go somewhere else. Yeah. I mean, well, I do love the beach though. I am central. I'm centrally located in Florida. So I actually don't get to the beach as often as one might think. So this to me actually does seem quite lovely, but yeah, I, I love going to the mountains too, but you're right. We're, we're in the, we're in the vacation capital of the world here. I just noticed something. See those, those sandals, those starfish, they're never going to be able to wear those sandals. They're way too big for them. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, Ben's got jokes today. <laughs> anyway, so this is this is kind of you know it wasn't really a vacation vacation, but as you know, I picked up my son. He was in Arizona, and we had a long drive back. You know, it's because it was better part of two thousand miles. So some of this right off the bat is going to be about what we're talking about with that car, because when we, we came from Arizona all the way across New Mexico into Oklahoma and the Texas and uh, uh, Missouri and then to Illinois. There was an ample opportunity for this first slide after, uh, let's see, we can change the page here, Beth, where we talk about buggy cars and buggy bags. Ew. Every time we filled up with, with gas, <clears throat> the car, it was incredible how many bugs were on there. So, I mean, I, it's definitely near and dear to my heart with talking about this. And it's a, there's a reason some of that's a problem. Uh, bugs will actually harden. Uh, when they're sitting in your car and you really don't want them to harden because they, they get acidic and they can eat your paint a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you want to address this actually somewhat quick, but um, that's one part of the thing we're going to talk about, those bugs on the cars and then bugs on your bags. So we got buggy cars and buggy bags. Those are our two things we're going to hit up. Oh my goodness. All right. What are we going to do first? Well, we're going to hit, I think, let's go to the next slide. I think we're on buggy yeah, we're on buggy cars. And the biggest issue uh, on cars are really bugs. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, road tar, drink spills, and things like mystery stains that we really don't know what they are. Um, well, and you but, know what? Actually, our producer, Bess, is mentioning something that I thought of when I saw that picture of the front of the car, and that's the love bugs. But she's saying that, see, there's a big rumor here in Florida that the University of Florida invented love bugs and accidentally released them and that that's why we have them. So she is now telling us that that's actually not true. So it, it, it sounds like a, a purposeful intent of a release of a bug or a virus. Sounds kind of wuhan <laughs> Well, now I'm going to have to research because I believed that folklore. But anyway, we're getting them off our cars. So the good news is there is a product uh, made by our brilliant, brilliant team here, uh, the Kitchen and Home Cleaner Degreaser, that addresses all of these things. It uh, breaks down the bugs, even though they're hardened. It will get rid of road tar. It will clean drink spills and mystery stains. It's a remarkable product. It, get rid uh, it gets rid of the road tar? Yeah, yeah, and uh, that is tough too because uh, tar is meant to be a sealant. It's not meant to come off, but this does a great job of breaking that down and emulsifying it so you can wipe it away. Microfiber, by the way, is the choice substrate to clean everything we're talking about today. Microfiber okay. is really good at grabbing dirt and it's really good at cleaning cars without scratching. So uh, in addition to this, use a microfiber cloth. So we're going to move on here. I think Bess has... 
a little treat for us on our next slide. Is that true, Bess? Click. Uh-oh. Maybe we're stuck. Is she stuck? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, but there was a video, I think, of, on that uh, the first page. We had uh, a demonstration showing that product. Okay, it's Ken again with you from Healthier Home Products, and today we're talking about cleaning the car, specifically the floor mats, which can really take a beating over the winter, but not, not just that. I mean, people probably don't know that um, most uh, shoes contain fecal matter that you're walking in all day outside, just part of nature, and you're dragging that into your car. So not only do you get debris from uh, the dirt on the bottom of your shoes and, and uh, stones and miscellaneous items. You're also picking up malodors from what you're actually walking in. So what's the solution for this? Well, I mean, we already spent money on these uh, nice floor mats and they do a good job, except they do look rather beat up with some of this that we're talking about. And today we are going to be talking about Healthier Home Cleaner Degreaser. It is concentrated and uh, as the name says, it cleans, degreases. It actually has a patented deodorizer, so even if there's male odors in there, uh, it's going to take care of those. Uh, and it's concentrated, so you can either use it ready to use out of the bottle or dilute it as needed. But this little guy, don't let that pretty label fool you. Um, it does a yeoman's job of cleaning uh, all kinds of stains and, and whatnot else. Uh, and like I say, today we're in the car, so this, we're just going to spray this stuff on liberally, going across as much of this as possible. And this product can be used on any washable surface. Um, it is uh, made with some brilliant mines, and we start out with uh, EPA Safer Choice ingredients. And then with those brilliant chemical mines, we make a formula that has cleaning attributes that are really unparalleled in the marketplace. Um, this one just happens to have a whole string of them. Not only is it going to clean and it will remove fats and oils and things like that, but even scuffs you get on your shoes and things that, again, really make this uh, once beautiful, um, inexpensive floor mat go from looking new to looking old if left alone. So what do you do? Well, you got to get something that's going to have the muscle to do it. And the, the strange thing is, like I said, I mean, you're going to look at this label and think, ah, this looks like a, a softball product. It just looks too pretty to really have the potency to do what I need. But you will see it is guaranteed uh, because it is a, it's my go-to product for a lot of things. But this is just a simple example of uh, what, what you can expect from this. And, uh, that's just one wiping down. I had no hard work, as you saw, no hard work at all. So I'm just taking a microfiber cloth. There's no scrubby side on it as well. Uh, so you're not going to uh, risk scratching anything. But just like that, I wish I had a picture of this sucker when it was brand new. Because uh, I could show that's about exactly what it looks like again with no more than a couple minutes of work. So there you have it, healthier home, kitchen and home, cleaner, degreaser, concentrated deodorizer. Check out all of our products on healthierhomeproducts.com. So my partner, Jen, that is a typical example when you're traveling a long time, everybody's in the car, you're going to have drink spills. You're going to have, you know, problems in a car. That is going to make the car look brand new, no matter really what it is. I mean, it's yeah. And you didn't even have to let that sit very long. You literally sprayed it. Like you said, you put a lot on, but it seemed to melt away pretty quickly there. And, and as the video showed, there was no scrubby side on that. It was a microfiber cloth. It had these uh, mini noodles on it, which is kind of cool all by itself. But it was just a regular microfiber cloth that does a great job of grabbing uh, the dirt. But you're not going to have to worry about any scratches. So it's I use this even on leather seats. Uh, so when uh, somebody's maybe got a sweaty, dirty arm or something, or maybe somebody scuffed something, it's going to clean that right up and not have a problem. And you will be shocked. Jen, you'll be shocked. Just cleaning your steering wheel. Yeah. You'll, you'll be amazed at how dirty a steering wheel is. But it's going to look brand spanking new just by using that. 
And can we get those microfiber cloths on the website as well? We actually can't. We've got those guys. We When people buy our Eco Excellence bundle, we throw them in. We just throw a couple in. You just our, get it when you get that Eco Excellence bundle. We're Amazing. Just that, we're just that kind of people. What a gift. I love it. All right. What are we doing so, next? So that's just one episode of, you know, kind of what you can do with that on that car. But here's one specific. Your hubby actually did this on a, on a car with bugs. And we'll just light up this next video showing just how easy it is to get rid of bugs because they will splatter. They they almost get like a lacquer. They harden. But yeah. this will take it off without any damage on that, on that car. So roll them, roll them. Love it. You know what was super cool about that video? I mean, it was brilliant. It's the brilliant mind of Corey. The brilliant mind of Corey. It was a Tesla, which is kind of cool because it's just a cool car, but it was white. So you see the contrast so perfectly clear on that background. And you also see no damage, no damage to the car. Yeah. And I, I got to tell you guys, uh, Ken and Corey are cut from the same cloth uh, as far as this cleaning is concerned. They both love it and they geek out over it. And it's great for me. I love that. <laughs> I'm a freak. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So what else are we looking at, Ken? So so, uh, so post vacation, Joe said so we had some uh, before and afters here. So just like we say, your drink holders, uh, you know, no matter what you got in their coffee or sodas, and that, they're going to look brand spanking new after, just like the before and after. And that is leather on the right side. It's, a, it's an arm rust. And you, no matter how it gets beat up, you know, that that's a pretty cream leather uh upholstery it's going to look great when you're done so no matter what you got inside or outside it's a great product to, to take care of your car when it you looks come back really to great right. i love it so now for now for the buggy one this is going to be a little tougher but it's kind of you know it's kind of right up my alley it's kind of fun to talk about so luggage 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 post vacation right you're you travel somewhere have you ever gone to an airport and checked a bag yeah, yes. we've done it. Yeah, and there, are, there are literally. This is just like one of those questions I have to ask because people are going to say like, "Oh, gross." There's literally dozens of people that will you hand your bag off to the person at the counter. They put it on a belt that goes on. Somebody grabs that and they throw it on a cart and it goes to a cart and then somebody grabs it and puts it on another cart. It goes to a plane. The guy loads it on there. There's dozens of hands that touch that bag before you get it back at the next destination. Yeah. Okay, that's one thing. Those crew members handle thousands of bags every day, every day, in addition to yours. Now, here's the part that's tough. Estimated 40% of the people that go to the bathroom don't wash their hands. <laughs> Ew! I so, echo what Beth said. Ew! So all these bags that are being touched, you know, you're just spreading all this stuff out. So that's like the, I know it is, I know it's the ew factor, but it's that it is what it is. The truth hurts. The truth does hurt. So now on top of it, luggage, luggage, is just like the bottom of your shoes, your bottom of shoes are loaded with so much pathogens and bacteria and everything else, because you walk through it in nature, there's bird droppings and this and that. So that's on the wheels of your luggage too. So that's something to just think about the outside of your bag with what torture that bag is going through with with bugs. Remember bugs in the car, bugs on the bag. Might be a different bug, but it's a bug. Yep. And then on the other side, even five-star hotels, Jen, even five-star hotels can have bed bugs, roaches, insect issues, all yep. of that. Yeah. And you know, we just we just go to the hotel, you're tired, you check in, you put your bag down, but anything can crawl in and out of that bag. Yeah. Anything can crawl in and out of that bag. So my point is on this, don't bring these things home. You yeah. don't have to bring these things home. And and people that do bring stuff home, like bed bugs or something like that, they're, they always share that story about how bad it was and how tough it was to get rid of. You don't have to if you just follow a couple simple things that we put out there for our post-vacation cleanup. Okay, next I slide. love that. What are we going to do to prevent this? It's not this tough. It's not this tough. So the next slide on here, I think we've got, um, yes, we're almost there. I'm stuck. There we go. So the first thing, before you even bring your bag inside, 
I like, I just take the, the laundry and I go right to the machine. I do, I do it before it even gets in. I take that laundry and I do it in the machine because. And don't even like, you don't have to like keep what was clean, right? Wash it all. I wash it all. You are at, that is a great point. As usual, you're laying down some truth bombs on people and that is. <laughs> It's, it's touching each other. You might as well just wash it all. It's, there's nothing saved by that. You're correct. Yeah. The only thing I do is uh, a lot of times there's bags, you know, uh, in, a, in a hotel. I'll, I'll separate the laundry ahead of time. So I've got my whites together. I've got my colors together. I can just, you know, do the laundry as I'm, as I'm going. So smart. But the, the point of that whole thing is to put it, on a, put it on a wash cycle. Soap, just general soap will kill most bugs, most insects. Um so it's highly effective all by itself. Now, if you've got temperature or if you've got durations of uh, cycle, that's going to help as well. But uh, just doing that outside is one step ahead of the game where you're not going to be drawing this stuff inside. So, so do that. Um, and we're saying, yes, clean the outside of your bag, just like we talked about all that luggage being handled at the, uh, at the, uh, at the airport. Wipe down using microfiber and some kitchen home cleaner degreaser. Clean your handles, clean your wheels, wipe that sucker down on the outside. Make sure the outside's clean. Next slide, please, Bess. This is a real simple one on the next one. Real simple one. We're going to actually vacuum and wipe down the inside of the bag because there could be larva uh, from bed bugs or any other insect that have crawled into your bag. Just give it a quick vacuuming and a quick wipe down. It's not that big a deal. It takes literally less than a minute to do, um, and you'll be off to the races. If you if you've got a cloth bag uh, or a fabric bag, use use a, like a, a bucket and a, a rag. Wipe it down good. Leave it in the sunshine till it's dry. Sun is an actual disinfectant. It's an actual disinfectant. UV will kill anything that's on it anyway. So it's a good thing just to leave your bag outside for a couple hours anyway. Awesome. So then you're, you're all good to go. Now, at the just a finishing touch, before I throw my bag uh, uh, back in the closet, I throw a little cedar block in it because cedar keeps bugs out. Bugs really? Out so even in your own house, you may have a spider crawl in there. They won't if you've got a little cedar block in there. So that's just a little little tip. little tip, pro oh tip from me to you. Gosh. Pro tip from me to you. I love that. And I bet it smells a lot better than mothballs. If you like cedar, <laughs> right? If you like cedar. I love it. And if you guys want to go look at what we were showing today, what we were cleaning with, this is that degreaser. It is amazing. You can buy the concentrate, which is amazing. Tell us about the concentrate. How do we do that? Well, we can, it's really, it's dependent upon you. How dirty, I always jokingly tell somebody, you know, when they're cleaning something, how dirty is your underwear? You know, if you're cleaning <laughs> something really dirty, make it a little stronger. If you're cleaning something light, like blinds or uh, a cabinet or something like that, you can uh, make the dilution pretty light. But Love you it. will get a lot of cleaning, and it's good for any washable surface. I love that. As always, Ken, you've been a wealth of knowledge. As you can see, that's our website there, healthierhomeproducts.com. Make sure you go on there, get your degreaser. And uh, if you get that Eco Excellence bundle, you get that microfiber thrown in there for free. Go, go, go. We love I you. Love it. We're here to help oh, you. Right. Love it. All right. We'll see you next week, Ken. Thank you so much. We'll see you, Jen.